Hello and welcome, I'm Liam, the user reviewer, fresh cut, straight out of the salon, Jeff, and today we're going to be talking about the new Gorillaz album, The Now Now, which uh, it leaked, and I listened to it because I have no soul, sue me. Um, Gorillaz are a project mainly by Damon Albarn, I would say Damon Albarn does all the music stuff, which is what <laughs> this is going to predominantly be about, so I guess people would go and say it's a Damon Albarn project, but Jamie Hewlett does deserve a lot of the credit for the design of the virtual band that are the Gorillaz, um, but the Gorillaz are predominantly Damon Albarn, who does a lot of collaboration, and um, that was often a critique of the last album, uh, Humans, which came out after seven years of total silence. I believe there was a falling out between Jamie and Damon, and then for the longest time it seemed like Damon didn't really know what to do with Gorillaz. Um, personally, I think Humans is a good album. I like it. Um, is it bloated? Yes. Is it as consistent as Plastic Beach or as Demon Days? Absolutely not. But in terms of creating an atmosphere, in, in terms of creating a character, um, which most Gorillaz albums do, they create environments and settings that are just as animated as our cartoon counterparts. I think it did a good job. The whole apocalyptic thing was developed enough that it didn't feel tacked on. It often had some really good kind of just dreary bops on it. Ascension was one of my favourite songs of last year, no small part due to Vince Staples just killing it on there. But I will agree with the complaint that Dan Alburn's voice got kind of just kind of drowned and submerged because of the other guests that were on kind of basically giving all the commentary that really should have came from Damon himself. That being said though, Humans is a good album and I do think that in terms of what I prefer more, I probably do have more of an affinity for something like Gorillaz than I do with Blur. Um, I, I really can't put my finger on it, I think mainly because I grew up with Gorillaz more than I did Blur. Um, but even from a more mature age where I can kind of like take a kind of strip back some more of my personal opinions, I do think that Gorillaz have just had a really strong career. They have just provided some of the best albums of the noughties in my opinion. As I said, Demon Days and Plastic Peach just created these wonderfully lush atmospheres where we just got some really, really good music. With the Now Now, it was clear from the get-go that this was going to be different in terms of how it went about being created because um, Apart from the fall, I guess, um, most of these albums have been given a lot of time to be developed. Um, I think probably at most the shortest gap between albums has been between their debut album, which is still worth mentioning because it is good, but between the debut album and Demon Days, um, as I say, there's a seven year absence between uh, 2010 with Plastic Beach and The Fall and with Humans. Um, we were getting this album just, just and over a year after it came out, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, and apparently it didn't even start getting recorded until February. Um, apparently the idea was there during the Humans tour and some recording was done, but for the most part, the majority of it was done in February. And according to the band, it was done so they had more material to play live, which I feel is... I really don't know what to make of that. I don't even know if it was a, some sort of like sarcastic remark because I really wouldn't put it past Damon Albarn to say something like that. But if it is the case, okay, that's fine. Like There was plenty of bands last year, like Brockhampton and King Gizzard, that released a lot of music and it was really all good, so I don't have a problem with really strict time frames if the music in question is good. Is the music good? Um, let, let, Let's jump into that a little bit. Um, the first track, Humility, uh, I think does a good job of setting the scene. Um, this kind of made me think this is going to be, if anything, this is going to be the the everyday robots of the Gorillaz universe. If you haven't listened to that, that was David Alburn's solo project from uh, 2013, 2014, I can't remember the specific year, but it was very a very kind of depressing record. It was very self um, it was very reflective of Damon himself. It just didn't hold its punches. It created a very like thick smog of self-deprecation and honesty. It was just a, a really confessional record, and it feels like, unlike a lot of Gorillaz records, it's gonna try and point the camera more at Damon himself. And in this terms, um, Damon's usually represented by the character 2D in the virtual band. Honestly, I could spend a whole video trying to describe it all, but basically all you need to know is it's a virtual band, there's 2D, Noodle, Russell and Murduk, Murduk's in jail, and so it's been replaced by Ace from Powerpuff Girls. Just as weird as it sounds, but bear with me. 
um, but this is more kind of a, yeah, a self-reflective record I guess um, and people are kind of pointing out how a lot of the songs are location titles so really this is kind of like a sort of God's favorite customer is the first album that comes to mind for me because of how it was all recorded um, kind of like maybe not so much in a tour but in like in a hotel um, a lot of these songs are named after it um, even when it's talking about stuff like Hollywood and that I feel like the commentary that's laid out on there really isn't all that groundbreaking um, and isn't really told in a way where it feels all that kind of charming or all that sort of like I was really hoping for even if they were to like create their own wee locations where like there was like a clear sort of um, mirror image there kind of like with the Arctic Monkeys record which was also produced by uh, James Ford um, where that album obviously been set on the moon and there is the, the talking of the moon on this album but the moon's obviously meant to be kind of like a high perf kind of like a an over exaggeration of our planet in terms of how we consume stuff and all that jazz and um, you can watch Martin Monkey's review for all that rambling but yeah I didn't really feel like there was much of that on here so this isn't really a album that tries to build a world like other Gorillaz albums um, and in terms of the progress we get from uh, Damon Albarn's character. We get some really like good moments. Um, as I say, Humility is a good one. I did like Fireflies. Um, but really, uh, there's not really a lot of good songs on this record. And as a cohesive project, I didn't really feel like there was that kind of rich atmosphere that you get in every other Gorillaz album. People will say that, well, maybe it's meant to be more reserved project, not as ambitious in that. But I feel then, really, is it a Gorillaz album? Like, I feel like Gorillaz are usually the strongest when they're trying to be ambitious and make these kind of big projects even if you dislike humans you can't deny that they were trying to do something just new for them like it didn't feel like a retread this here doesn't feel all that fresh even from a sense of just doing Albarn's career in general I wouldn't be hyperbolic and say that it's a bad record by any means and as I say there are some good songs on here like Fireflies um, and like Humility um, trans as well which is a good one but there's no there's not the highs that human side like even if you didn't like humans you can admit that ascension or saturn's bars or andromeda are good songs i even like moments people don't like that because of the auto tune but i think it's a good kind of a, apocalyptic tune um but there's no point on here where i feel like oh this is it's like a good song like i could uh, listen to this without the context of the album and i would say that that's kind of like indicative of whether or not an album is good or not, but I do feel it goes some way to show that if the album doesn't stand out in a kind of context of building a cohesive atmosphere and it can't stand out with having like a few kind of like standout songs, then it's really not doing a good job on either end. I can totally see why somebody would prefer this album to humans. I'm not going to disregard anyone's opinions on this because I guess as a more personal project, there. There probably is a lot more for somebody in that sort of, um, from somebody from that sort of perspective to enjoy about it. But really, I don't really think there's anything that Damon says on here that I haven't heard him say before, and I really, I, I, I really <laughs> feel so indifferent towards this album, which is probably the worst thing that could happen. At least if I, if I hated this project, I would have some sort of like strong reaction to it. But I just feel total indifference towards it now. Now. I really can't, really can't find myself <laughs> recommending it all that much, and not because it's a bad album, but just because if if you like Gorillas, there's there's probably something here for you. But if you're somebody who w wasn't too fond of humans and thinks that uh, this was going to be like a big radical shake up, you're going to be disappointed. Um, I wasn't expecting a big radical shake up, but I was thinking that we would get some sort of like just sort, some sort of like unique atmosphere and I really don't get it at all. I don't really think there's much different simscapes being explored here. I really think they would have benefited from being a bit more kind of sporadic or hyperkinetic but we don't and it's just kind of it's just kind of sad. Um, in terms of a rating I, 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 uh, I'm going to say a 5 out of 10 just like no light solids to it just a 5 out of 10 because really I, I don't think it's bad but I really don't think it's all that good either. I just really don't have strong feelings towards this album. There's some good songs on it and there's a lot of songs that just kind of meander and really don't fulfill much purpose for me. Um, but yeah, I, I probably will get a bit of slack for this sort of opinion, but 
that's the job. Um, but yeah, if you guys think differently, if you've already listened to the leak or if you're watching this review after it's actually came out, let me know what you guys think. Um, that's really all I've got to say about the now now. Um, stay safe and stay hydrated. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.